What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Caesar with Caesar Gets Crypto, and we are looking at Bitcoin Cash today. Shout out to the Dragon Riders and the House of the Dragon. I hope everybody's faring well in these past three days of red, which I think the biggest day was less than 3%, so I'm sure we're all doing okay, right? Really, we've just been moving sideways. We had a little a little bullish day here of 6.63% on a closing basis, a little bit more than that overall, but but we're just doing more of the same stuff, right? We are having a little tug of war between the Green Dragon and the Red Dragon. There's bulls and bears in the uh, technical analyst world and in the price and the stock world, but with Bitcoin Cash specifically, man, there's just the Green Dragon and the Red Dragon. And then sometimes uh, the, the crab, the golden crab, which we might actually, that might be what's happening. The golden crab has both of these guys in its pinchers and it's like, you know, I, it, it, crab markets are whenever things move sideways. That's why I'm saying that. But overall, you can see that we are moving down. We are moving down. Um, the, the, both the dragons are in the cusp of the, of the golden crab itself. And right now I think the red dragon is looking to break out. You know, that's, that's something that I've, I've been saying for a while. I do think that we're going to go lower in Bitcoin Cash's price. You can see here on this overall fib from the most relative low to the most relative high that we've broken below this 236 after disrespecting a little bit. We came back up to it, rejected it. I would, I feel safe in saying that we've rejected it now. And the next move to make would be down to the 382. And if you've been following the channel, if, you, if you've been watching the videos that I've posted on this, you know that I ultimately do expect Bitcoin Cash to go somewhere down around this 161 or the 618 to the 0.69 area, anywhere between about 135 to 150. But I've given it an overall range of somewhere just above the, uh, the 0.5. I've said about 185 to 135 is the overall range. And the reason for that is because if we go back in time, if we go back in Bitcoin Cash's history, I'll do a quick little preview on it, right? Um... Let's see, like like here, from top to bottom, Bitcoin Cash. Okay, here it went to the 0 0.69. So that's that's why I give it like the bottom of the range, right? This was this was an upwards move, but even before then, you can see respect on the 0.5, right? You can see the respect there. Um, let's see, from this low to this high here, again, somewhere in the 6.9 area. You could go lower, you know, but this was in the early days, maybe maybe not so much to be taken into consideration. Let's see here, from, from the uh, bottom here to the top there, of that move, you can see that we went just above the 0.5. And that, that actually happens quite a lot in Bitcoin Cash's uh, time. Here, you know, this bottom came down around the 0.69 area. Um, it's definitely something to kind of like keep in mind as well. Let's see, if we were to take this high to this low, you went around the 0.5 area, not quite to the 618. Um, let's see, let's see here, delete that guy. From this overall low to this overall high, we did find significance at the 0.5. We actually rejected the 236, went straight through the 382, and we found a little bit of support right above the 0.5 again. Um, but ultimately, you know, we did go lower and right down to that 61869 area again. You know, so both of those areas, time and time again, have been have been something that we've seen in Bitcoin Cash's history. From from that low there to this top here, right around the 0.5, right. Um, I think. I think if we were to take this like more immediate fib, yeah, right above the 0.5 there, um, here, you know, just below the 382, but really I would more measure it like this because it's more immediate, right around the 6.9 area. Um, stuff like that, you know, it's very common from top to bottom here, right at the 0.5. So, so it's just stuff, it's stuff that we've seen commonly through like the relative fibs. You know, overall, uh, like if we were to do, let's see, if we were to take this thing from top to bottom, um, you know, that 236 also, that 174, it's right there at the 0.5. So I do think, I really do think that we go below 200. Um, we might not actually see prices at 174, and that's why I give it the range of just above that at like 185 or so. But but with the overall kind of climate of the market, it wouldn't surprise me if we did break below that. And actually most of my buying order, where, where it was above this line at some point, right around here, it was between like this line and the screen line here. That was most of my buying power. Now it's actually in between the uh, 618, and the 0.69. Actually, let's see, most of my buying power, I would say it's actually just a little bit above the 618, right at this top, that's what it is, it's at 155, and then to 145, that's where that's where most of my buying power is. But I do have orders layered out from about 180 to 145, that's, that's what I've got. So just being a little transparent there. But looking at this thing, I do think we go lower, ultimately. Enough about me. Let's talk about the price. Let's talk about you, Bitcoin Cash. Uh, the daily RSI looks weak. It looks like we're in a nice downtrend. We just formed a lower high. What are we going to do next? Form a lower low. Where will that lower low come in? 
you know, if we're, if we're following this kind of inclination here, likely it will be in the oversold zone. And if we're in the oversold zone, generally you get your strongest moves when you're overbought. You get your strongest moves to the downside whenever you're oversold. So whenever we get oversold, I would expect, and I've said this on all my videos for quite a while now about Bitcoin Cash, that we do see a bigger move to the downside than anything we've seen so, uh, so far. And that doesn't mean anything we've seen so far in history. I doubt we're going to see a, a move that's as big as this to the downside. I doubt that. Um, I mean, we could, it's possible, but, but I would, I, I'm more saying like compared to this range where the biggest candle was 6%, I think 6.7%, we're going to see a bigger candle than that. And it's probably going to be, you know, may, maybe it's 8%, maybe it's 12%, maybe it's a 20% candle. But again, I don't think that we're going to see something that like engulfs this whole range. It could be a one day movement that takes us down to the areas that I'm looking for. Like if we were to move all the way down to like 170, right? That's a 25% candle. That could happen. Bitcoin Cash is not afraid to make big moves, um, and crypto is not afraid to scare people out and shake people out. So just be aware of that. You know, don't get too shaken. But, but how this has been going so far, it's been pretty methodical on its way down. Pretty methodical. You did just reject the 236, and again, the last time that we kind of did that, I'm gonna go back over here. It wasn't the last time. It was just it was one time that I was looking at. Uh, was it here? Was it this one? Yeah, right. From from bottom to top, you rejected the 236 after disrespecting it, then you got a big move down, right? A very big move down that took you below the 382. But that week, you know, that was a 28% move over a week. So, what was that? I don't know. What was that on a daily basis if we go to look at it? Uh, that was a pretty big candle. That was a 7% candle in a day, you know? So that was still bigger than than anything we've seen in the current range, right? I think I think I have the right one. Yeah. You know, 15%. Oh, okay, we could see something like that, you know, something like this. And again, kind of comparing that to uh, the current FIB range, again, we showed disrespect before, and now we've actually found a top at the 236, finding resistance at it. It kind of looks similar. It wouldn't surprise me if we shot right through the 382. It also wouldn't surprise me if we found resi or support on it, you know, because it is an area where we could find support. So don't get too excited either way. Um, Let's see the one six one eight of this overall like tiny 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 little range, but it is it is still valid. It's the most relative range we have. The one six one eight's right there at the three eight two as well. So we very well could find support in that area. But the two six one eight's down here and on smaller fib ranges. If you guys have paid attention to what I've said in the channel, smaller fib ranges do tend to promote deeper extensions, and that two six one eight is right down at the uh, the point five area, right? right around there just just above it so that kind of fits with some other stuff i'm looking at but again we don't have to drop that fast we could drop that fast i don't know i don't know how it's going to look i just believe that we are going lower and that's that's really all i have to say looking at this on a four hour rsi looks weak looks like we're getting ready to make a move down actually i'm surprised we haven't already but hey that's okay we do have we don't do we have we don't have hidden bearish divergence but it still looks weak i'm not i'm not a fan of that rsi at all uh, one hour looks trash as well. Kind of neutral, but with a bearish bearish tilt for sure. Um, it is the weekend. It's Saturday right now. We have one day left in this week, so I would bet that over the next like few days, that's probably when we'll see our move. Maybe this week closes red. Maybe it doesn't. But even if it closes green, you know, short of you know, in the next day, if it can engulf that candle there, um, I think any close with this kind of wick to the upside would be bearish. So I do I do think that the coming weeks will promote further downside. And, you know, I'm kind of surprised that we haven't gone lower already, but whatever, man, it's, we're doing things right now that we've never done in Bitcoin Cash's history. So as of right now, I just would, I would expect more of a kind of methodical move down. And then as we get to this oversold zone in the RSI, we will see a more large move compared to anything that we've seen so far in this range. So again, a more large move compared to anything we've seen in this range, not compared to anything we've seen in Bitcoin Cash's history. Maybe it's a 15% move. Maybe it's an 8% move. Maybe it's a 20% move. Maybe it's a 10% move. Like no, you know, no, nobody knows. We'll know whenever we get there, but ultimately I do think we go lower and I would very much expect we go below this purple line here. Once we get below that purple line, it'll probably be a ripe opportunity for buying. And regardless of where my orders are, I'm prepared to move things around and scoop some up down there for sure. But I think that's all I got to say. If you guys liked the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to see more, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.